This video will show how to use ActaSolve software to analyze slug test information. Open the slug test Excel spreadsheet. Double check that the head... Here you've entered information collected in the field. Elapsed time since the slug test took place depth to water as it's changing over time, and the initial depth to water. Double check that the head column is calculating the difference between the initial depth to water and the change. The head will decrease over time, eventually becoming zero. A minimum of 10 measurements are needed, ideally 20 are used. Copy the elapsed time column and the head column to a place near the bottom of the spreadsheet so they're side by side. You will need this for ActaSolve. Open the ActaSolve program. Go to New. Click slug test wizard. In the slug test wizard, you will enter the measurements from the Excel spreadsheet and your sketch of the well. First we start with units, meters per minute for measurements, and then hydraulic conductivity given in meters per day. Next. This is individual information from the field. The height is the change in water level from the slug test, and big H is the depth from the aquifer base to the static water level. Our sketch shows us that these values are 0.13 meters, which is here, and then 44.5 from the base of the well to the top of the static water level. This is the well name, and this is important if you have more than one well, like for a pump test. The saturated thickness of the aquifer if you don't know it, you can use the measurement from the, aqua, the base of the well to the top of the static water level. In this case, that was 44.5. Leave the anisotropy ratio as 1. D is the depth from the top of the screen to the static water level, and the length is the bottom of the well to the top of the screen. Our sketch shows that to be 24.5 and 20 meters. We have no transducer depth. The inside of the casing, then we have the larger and the pack. Let's look at our sketch. The inside of the narrow casings, radius, which is half of the diameter, is 0 0.0508, and the packing radius is 0 We won't use the skin, and we have no downhole equipment. We will not be using correction factors. And here is where we'll paste our values from the spreadsheet. Copy these using Control-C, and click Paste.
The first row will be empty. It can stay empty or you can delete it. Leaving it empty will not affect the measurement. The wizard is complete. Finish. No errors have been detected in our data set. The next thing we'd like to do is look at a plot. So we'll click View, Displacement, Time. Here's our data. This shows time on the linear log axis and normalized head on the y-axis on normal scale. Let's change that. We go from log linear to linear log. Here we can see our data form a straight line. Now we'd like to choose a matching method. We'll click View, oops, Match, Automatic. That opens this small window. Uncheck solution is active. Let's choose an unconfined aquifer. And the first we'll do is the Vorslev. We'll click OK. This automatic window opens up. And this gives us the parameters for the curve matching. We'll leave all of the defaults. And we'll click Estimate. This shows us that the estimation is complete in five iterations, convergence criteria, and we have a k-value. Let's write that in our spreadsheet. Now, let's go back and choose another method. Click OK. We'll go to Match. Oops. We'll go to Match, Solution. Let's choose Bauer Rice. OK. Match, Automatic. And we'll click estimate. And this shows us that the Bauer Rice also converged on five iterations. We get a different value. Let's write that in our spreadsheet. And there we have two estimates for k-values based on this look test.